welcome to Pipes Around the House. Today we're looking at part 12 in my series of loft conversion videos and in this video we're going to be constructing the rear dormer. So boy, is all we've done is removed the slates and we've removed them down to the level of this purlin. Well, actually, we've gone a little bit further, like on the other side. So if you've got any problem with the angle of the roof and the bow and the rafters, we've got enough room to do the same thing. Come down here and try and level them into the ones below. I'm going to take the felt off today. I'm going to get these battens off again, just down to there. So if you come up here, you'll see what I mean. Left all the slates on from there down, so tonight we can whack the tarpaulin over that, and hopefully we can just have a go at building this dormer and knocking a few rafters out in a minute. So now we can see up here, we've removed all the felt, all the slates down so far. Now is what we're going to do, we start cutting out these rafters and we'll try and get a ridge board out for this dormer and then we'll work off that, do some cheeks and maybe do the rafters last. going horizontal across there we've got this vertical one going up there and a diagonal there once we've got in position the ridge board is now level and that just holds it all in place and on this side we simply use the mini joist hanger which is quite easy on this just to sit it into place and it stops you messing around you can line it up a bit easier and that's what it looks like from the outside if you just have a look by here while well, we've been doing the dormer which is over there all pop up house has been knocking this uh, ladder section up here which is going to be the soffits and the fascias and he's just halfway through this one now on that side there. So now if we take a look at the rear dormer here, we've opened it all out and what we've done is we've put a double rafter there, down that side and we've put a double rafter down that side and that is what's going to support now the cheeks of the dormer and then obviously this side from here onwards up to the chimney breast will just be slate and that'll be the same slope as the rest of the roof just joining into next doors by there. Then what we've decided to do here is although the purlin is right by there so the cheeks are going to take most of the weight of this roof but then the front we've decided to put out here and extend in front of the purlin and the reason we've done this is that we can have by here then some sort of windowsill inside which will go back about 10 inches so it'll be a nice feature and just give the impression of a bit more space inside the dormer so the window will be set back by here then rather than actually coming up vertically above the uh, existing purlin. And then if you look here, old pop up house has been whacking in these bits on the end, this ladder sort of structure, and this will be our overhang where we're going to have the soffit and our fascia board. So that's all sorted now, so it's all coming along nicely. So 
So we put this vertical up there, this vertical we've got a horizontal across there, that there is just a temporary brace to keep everything square, then we put two horizontals across there and they're going to take the rafters up to the ridge board. Those are going to be the cheeks and we'll do the rest tomorrow, we now got to cover it up because it's getting lit. So it's the next day, we're back up on the roof, we've had to leave the tarpaulin on today because the weather's not great and we think we may be able to finish off the rafters on the dormer with the tarpaulin over the top just left loose, so we're going to go up there now and get on with it. So if you look here, we've just put some verticals down now off these cheeks. We've got the 2x4 across the top flat. We've got them turned around that way, there and there. We're going to do the same as on the other dormer. We're going to use the OSB board, put it on the outside of the cheeks. We're going to put a piece of timber in a minute across here, flat, at uh, the level of the purlin. And obviously the window will go above that. We've got the same with these cheeks, we've done these verticals. Then with the rafters, we've just been getting some measurements on that and making sure that they're even on this side to that side so we've got a nice even pitch on the roof and then we're birds mouthing those over the top of these timbers there and there and then once we get the front two on we can work our way back with the rest of the rafters and down in the garden I've got Papa Pice doing the bird mouth cuts and cutting out the rafters he's using a combination of the chop saw down there and a hand saw and you can see on the one that just dropped down the little bird's mouth there so hopefully we're going to get um, about six I think it's six maybe eight of these knocked up that are all exactly the same so here are six rafters here that Popper Pice has just cut out using a hand saw and a chop saw you can see those there six pieces all the same length so we're going to pop those up now and hopefully they should fit into place We had to abandon ship again yesterday because it started raining and I had to be in early, so a double whammy. But we're back here again the next morning. It's absolutely hammered down last night. I've got a wet patch on the ceiling below, so let's get this tarpaulin off, get inside and see where the leak came from. Right, so today I've just pulled a tiny bit of the tarpaulin off and we're going to leave that there the best we can. And somewhere along here we had a leak last night. I cannot work out for the life of me where it is. Here we go. So off we had here then. It's down there. Oh, there it is. It's that felt. If you look just under there, it's been catching that water, filling up and backfilling there. You can see all the damp on that lath. And that's slowly been soaking through in my bedroom ceiling last night. So that's the kind of fun and games you get when you've got a tarpaulin cover in your house. So I'm just inside the rear dormer looking back and we've got big pouse here doing these diagonals. We've got this diagonal in here now. These rafters going down to it there, and what he's going to do is replicate one on this side. So yesterday Pop and Pouse cut the cheek of the dormer out for me, we've got to screw that in today, get the tarpaulin just off the side, and we'll screw in from the back this way with our uh, 5x50 screws. We've secured this one in there. Coming back to the front, up by here I need another Velux window, this one's slightly smaller than the other two we're installing, so i got Pop and Pouse cutting this out for me now. And I'm going to get out on the roof because the sun's come back out, get this tarpaulin off, rip the rest of the slates off, insulate from the top, and hopefully we can get some felt over this by the end of the day. We've got just a 
quick update. I've removed all the slates off here now. We're going to leave that felt there for a moment because we've got to do the same as the other side and level up a few rafters, make sure the roof's nice and straight. If we get away with doing that today, we'll remove this felt and then put the new felt over the top. Big Pice is under here now, so I'm going to show you what he's doing. So this is what Big Pice has been doing. If you look under here, you can see that this ridge board has all the rafters on it now. These two diagonals, one there, you can see one just down there. And he's just attaching a bit of OSB to the front. So we've got this opening there, which will have the window. You obviously have to put some verticals on. You can see how bad that wind is at the moment on this tarpaulin. We've got old Hopper Pice who's been doing a Velux opening just by there. As for the smaller Velux, it's going to be on top of the stairs. And you can see that Velux opening more clearly now from the outside there. And we're just doubling up the rafters as we did on the other Velux windows either side, give it a bit more strength. And that'll be solid as a rock. So that's it for today's video and as always if you want to see more of my loft conversion videos you can click on the links in the description section below. You can also subscribe and click the bell button for regular notifications. So for more DIY, how to, household tips and product review please watch my other videos and don't forget to subscribe. I've been Pice Around the House. Ta-ta, farewell.